Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly sync audio when you're doing a podcast. Even if you're doing a live stream, you can easily sync audio because oftentimes there's a delay when it comes to the audio because you may be recording using different devices or different tools. So if your audio is out of sync, I'm going to show you how you can do this using a free software. And of course, the software that we're going to use in this video is called DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is a completely free video editing software. In fact, it's one of the best video editing softwares out there. And of course, they have a paid version of this. But if you're looking to get started with an amazing video editing software, I would highly recommend that you use DaVinci Resolve. And you can download DaVinci Resolve straight from their website, which is blackmagicdesign.com. Right now, as of making of this video, the latest version is DaVinci Resolve 17, which is what I'm going to show you on my screen right now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your DaVinci Resolve and you want to then select untitled project. You want to create a new project, just give it a sample name and then import any files, any video files that you have into your media pool. Once you import it into the media pool, you want to drag it down to your timeline. Now this is from one of our clients. They have a very popular podcast called The Drip and they do a live stream every single week. And because they live stream it using different tools, their audio is usually out of sync. But as you can see, their lips are moving, but there's no audio. The next thing you want to do inside of DaVinci Resolve is you want to click on the edit icon. Now, what I really like about DaVinci Resolve is that the workflow is just amazing. It takes you from everything from the import page to the cut page to the edit page. And of course, you can also add your sound effects and other more advanced graphic effects as well. But for the purposes of this video and for the purposes of 90% of your editing, you're going to be working inside of the edit tab inside of DaVinci Resolve. So once you've imported the files, click on the edit tab. Then you want to go ahead and select all the clips in your timeline and then right click on them. And then you want to uncheck. So click on link clips. It's going to be checked by default. You want to uncheck it. And now all the clips are separated. The next thing we want to do is we want to find a section where there's a distinct audio. So in this case, we requested the client to clap in the video so that we can look at the clap and sync the audio this way. So we're going to find the section where Steven on the right is going to clap and then we're going to try to sync it to his clap. Usually he claps once or twice in the whole video. So we're going to search for that. And usually this is in the beginning. So here we go on your keyboard. You can press L. And if you press it twice, it will play in double speed. So this is going to speed up your workflow. Also, make sure that your track is not muted. Sometimes it's just muted by default. So make sure to uncheck it. Make sure it's not red so that both the tracks are audible for you. Okay, so there we see a clap. And what you can do is you can use your keyboard left and right keys to go frame by frame and really see exactly where the clap happens. So in this particular file, since we have two audio sources, one for each speaker, we're going to mute Amish on the left because he's not the one clapping so that we're isolating the sound coming from Steven on the right. So as you can see, there's a slight delay between the clap visually and the sound that you're hearing. Once the hands come together, there should be a sound. It's just delayed by one frame in this case. But if in your case, if it's delayed more, you can adjust it even more and you can zoom in into your timeline, which I highly recommend. You can do this using the plus and minus keys on, on the screen right now using a mouse or you can press the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. Now that we've zoomed in all the way, you can now really zoom in and be microscopic with your exact timing to make sure you have enough space to move things around. You want to go back and select all the files and move it a little bit towards the right. So you have some space on the left in case you need to move one of your tracks. So here is the portion of the video where the clap happens. As you can see, there's a slight spike when it comes to the audio track. So you want to make sure that you only select the audio track that you want to move and not the video track above. And then you just move the audio clip a little bit right there by one frame in this case. So it's snapping a little bit because the magnet icon is turned on. So you need to uncheck this so that it doesn't snap automatically. Now snapping can be a very useful tool when it comes to increasing your speed when it comes to editing. But in this case, we want that precision. So we're going to unselect the snapping. Here we go. Double check. We're going to go frame by frame. Verify that the sound of the clap is synchronized with the hand. Once that's done, we're going to go to the second audio track and unmute it because we were only isolating the first track to make sure it's in sync. Now it's all synchronized. To make sure you move everything to zero, select an initial part of the video that you can remove and then cut it out. And then once you cut out the beginning and everything is lined up, you can move everything, select all of the tracks and move it all the way to the left 
of your timeline so that's it that's how you reveal the audio of the video and that's how you sync the audio with the video in this case there was a one frame delay but even if it's a bigger delay you can still do this using this method now it's your choice if you want to continue editing your video inside of davinci resolve then you can continue to do so i highly recommend davinci resolve for most editors i mean if you're a complete beginner maybe it might be a bit hard for you and there's a slight learning curve but if you've edited videos before you should be able to figure it out and there's tons of tutorials on youtube that you can find if you want a davinci resolve tutorial from me comment down below and i'll actually make a full tutorial on how to use davinci resolve for beginners so once that's done we just need to make sure that the video length is okay so what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of your timeline and then click on i and then go all the way to the end of the video select the magnet icon to make sure it snaps and then go to the end of your video and press o for out and this is going to determine the in and out points for your video so that when you render out the file it only renders that much and nothing extra then go to file go to quick export select the resolution that you want in this case we're going to go with the h264 format and we're going to go with the resolution of 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate that we're going to go with is about 24 frames per second which is fine for this video and then we're going to click export and then we're going to save it on our computer so as you can see the audio and video are all synced up and this podcast episode is ready to go of course you can also cut up this episode into multiple clips and you can edit everything inside of davinci resolve you can even enhance the sound even further using the audio tab inside of davinci resolve but for the purposes of this video uh, I wanted to quickly show you how you can sync audio. Again, if you want more DaVinci Resolve tutorials or any other tutorials regarding marketing, video marketing, social media marketing, then make sure to leave a comment below with what kind of videos you want to see from me and I'll make a video especially for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.